Hi YouTubers, it's Smoke and See, uh, Sussing Down for Show today. It's in the garage again, I'm going to be doing a video right now. This is going to be a cigar view right now. Excuse the oil bar in the background, there's nothing I can do about it. So let's do the cigar view right now. This is going to be the Padron Series Palmas Maduro Lanzaro 6.3x42. About this long, yeah. So it is so cold outside right now, I have the garage door shut because I'm done smoking now. And I'm just bitterly cold right now, so I have my hat on, my nose is running, it's like 10 degrees outside, so yeah. Anyway, let's review the cigar right now. The first third is coffee, pepper, tobacco. You first light up, you get a tighter draw, not super tight, but tighter draw. Uh, coffee, pepper, tobacco, smooth, pretty nice, pretty nice big ass cigar. The, la the second third, sorry, the second third is same basic flavors. The coffee comes more predominant. You do taste the coffee. Um, more of that darker, uh, dark roasted coffee you get with Maduro Padrones. In my experience, Maduro Padrones tend to have more of that darker, rich coffee, while the naturals tend to have more of the dessert-like flavors. So, yeah. The last third was a tire draw. In the last third, it really snugged up, and you really have to suck it. That's what she said. So, <clears throat> so much more tight of a draw, so pepper, tobacco, not very enjoyable to smoke in the last third because the draw is so tight, so yeah. The strength was medium, so mild to medium, medium strength, not super strong, not super mild. Um, nice buzz, not bad. <clears throat> the retro heli notes were pepper and coffee, so very nice pepper and coffee through the nose. Very peppery, coffee, that kind of stuff. Uh, the, the aroma was a nice smell, typical cigar smell. The burn was fantastic. Um, very good burn. Honestly, with a 42 ring gauge Padron, look to your humidor storage. If you're seeing burn problems, look to your humidor storage, not to the cigar. Even with the Maduro, the Maduro should burn fine, this, this one did. So, it lasted for just over 50 minutes, so 50 minutes, not 15 minutes. So, almost an hour. Oh, oil butter shot off in the background. So, very nice, uh, pretty decent long burn time, almost an hour, so depending how fast you smoke, you're going to get between 40 minutes if you're smoking fast, all the way up to 55 minutes if you're smoking slowly. Very nice, big ass cigar. Uh, overall, good cigar, pretty decent cigar, not my personal taste, but very good. Uh, coffee, pepper, tobacco, maybe a little bit of like a musty taste, um, tight draw, um, pepper, smoothness. So, great cigar, great big ass cigar. Very, very nice. Um, great cigar. Not my personal flavor, that's why I get the AO10 for rating, because in my personal experience, in my personal taste, rather, I prefer cigars that have a very loose draw, that have a really, really plentiful, you know, plumes of smoke, very, very dessert-like, very easy to smoke. This isn't hard to smoke, it's not a hard cigar to smoke, it's just a tired draw, it doesn't have the complexity in the flavors. Not saying that the Padron series are complex, unlike the 1964 series, but they are more planar, so this one is more planar. So if you're looking for a really detailed, complex Padron, not something you want to pick up. If you're just looking for a nice, cheap cigar to smoke, very nice. Price point in these, these are between $5-$10 a piece. So, $5-$10 a piece, depending where you live. Anyway, comment, like the video, share the video, rate, subscribe. This has been the Padron Series Palmas Maduro Lanzaro 6.3x42. Anyway, AO10 for rating. Comment, like the video, share the video, rate, subscribe, and bye.